Right, today's car is a 1993 Subaru Justy, and this is another box ticking exercise for me. Um, I mean, it was nice to drive a Subaru Legacy with the flat six boxer engine yesterday, but I've been wanting to drive one of these for a very long time. I kind of really, really wanted one of these as my first car, and it never happened. Right, okay. But never mind. So, yeah. This is Tom, who owns the Justy as we just make our way over a speed hump. So how long have you owned the Justy? I've owned it uh, just over three years now. I, um, I previously had I previously had one back in 2013. Mm -hmm. um, as I sort of picked away at it, um, it sorry, we've apparent. gone very dark because <laughs> we're under trees. It became apparent that it was, it was just straight on here and then right. It became apparent that there was uh, there was too much work really for it, um, so I ended up stripping what I could to the right. Yeah. Stripping what I could down and, uh, and salvaging as much as I could, and then this one came up down in uh, down in East Sussex, which was uh, a long way to go, but uh, it was well worth the uh, well worth the trip. Yeah. Oh, listen to the growl. 1.2 litre three-cylinder engine. But uh, yeah, they do like to rust, don't they? They do. Yes. Um, this one's had the back arches redone. Mm -hmm. um, the, the chap who looks after my body where there's a tiny bit of bubbling coming through on that um, offside rear so he's just going to tidy that up for me. Um, he's done a fantastic job on the uh, on the front two arches because they when he cuts away there was a bit more rot than the eye than the eye. Mm, so off um, in the way. Yeah. And uh, yeah, uh, just trying to preserve it really now and uh, keep it looking as really yes, nice so, as I can, so yeah. other than arches you haven't had to do too much to it then? Not massively no. Um, there are a couple of sections near where the, uh, the steering column was for the uh, for the MOT. Mm -hmm. um, there were a couple of patches, well, oddly one side went and then upon inspection the other side was actually hidden by some uh, very thick under seal. Ah. We're going right here. Um, but other than that it's been it's been fairly solid yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, so had you always been a Subaru fan? Oh. Yeah well my, um, my mother used to have them you see growing ah. up. Um, she, had, she had two Justies. Um, one when I was one when I was born, mm -hmm. um, and then eventually she um, she moved on to uh, a Subaru GL, the the one before the Legacy. Yeah. Um, so she had one of those. Uh, it was like a bogey green colour. Um, oh yes, that and, had some interesting colours yeah, on those. Yeah, and unfortunately the, um, the the snow came one year and uh, some people decided to steal it. Oh. So um, found it near where my um, my old high school was actually. Um, but it was in a bit of a sorry state, so yeah. uh, that was the uh, end of the line really for uh, the Subarus, yeah. Um, and with the, with the Red Justy, um, it got roped off unfortunately. Um, there was a chap coming, uh, coming to a roundabout uh, behind us, not really looking where the car in front was and hit the back and unfortunately the, the car was roped off unfortunately. Yeah. Um, and I've always wanted one since. Um, but never really been able to find a, a good one uh, that was worth, you know, worth spending the money on. Yeah. So, what? So, what do you love about these cars? Is it just the nostalgia kick, or do you? Yeah, like I think it's. I think it's. A, I think it's a bit of both, really. I, I like the way it drives. Uh, it's like left at this roundabout. Thank you. I like the way it drives. Um, I like the fact that it's something different. You don't see them on the roads. Yeah, I've been uh, amazed following you to the car park yeah. where we did the photo shoot, which yeah. will appear in Retro Japanese magazine plug plug. Yeah. Um, people were stopping and staring as you drove past. And yes. You think, um, this car isn't that old, but I suppose there once probably were loads of them around yeah. here. Yeah. I thought at one point there would have been. Yes. Um, I, th I think I just like the fact that it's um, it's, it's it's not massive. It, it is old, but it's not massively old. It's still got yeah. fuel injection and whatnot. Um, and it's just it's just a other than a four wheel drive it's just a simple a simple engine yeah. you know there's no there's no complex electrics um, I know there's no power steering but to me I'm, I'm fairly used to it now I was going to say it doesn't yeah, feel, it doesn't very, feel heavy. very heavy um, and I just like the fact that when you know should you should the bad bad weather have come like it did it, it was unstoppable it just mm. carried it just kept kept on going. Um, yeah, because you just select four wheel yeah, drive by pressing much, yeah. the, the button on the yeah. gear stick. And it just not, it just connects it up and yeah. uh, away we go, yeah. We can overtake this cyclist and we can do that. I mean it's you know it's not the it's not the quickest thing in the world. Um, and you know it's not amazingly great on fuel. Um, 
but um, you know, I just, I just like the fact that you don't see them on, all the time. Yeah. Um, and it's different to what my friends drive. They tend to drive the usual golfs and courses and various other things. I think it's a bit of a drop in the back. Actually, I think it's just that speaker cone. Yeah, those, those are huge speakers. speakers. Were, were yes. they your speakers? Uh, they, they were. Yes. Um, when I bought the car, the, um, the paper cones that were in had completely shredded as they do and disintegrated. So I. Uh, yeah. We've not been able to change the ones in the doors because they're the ones on here are primarily in the dash. I changed yeah. the ones in the dash and just put those in just to have a bit of sound in the back. But uh, it's I okay. Do. I'm just about to get my day in yeah. back, and um, I bought that car brand new and hacked the rear shelf to bits to cram some six yeah. by nines in, and they're still there as well. Yeah, so. I mean it is. I'm getting my own um, shelf bodgery back. Oh, lovely. Yes. Yes. But my stepdad's a joiner, so I'm hoping at some point he can um, make a custom sort of shelf for me. It's not mm. too difficult shape to uh, to cut out. Um, so I'm hoping he can he can do that for me at some point, and um, it'll just be a bit more solid and yeah. less vibrations. Um, yeah, I've had I've had numerous um, offers for the car. Really, I've had some, some chap on the way home from work the other day asked to buy it on the uh, on the on the motorway, and he said it's, it's not really for sale, but. Um, I've had a few, you know, numbers and stuff in in, in wallets and, and whatnot uh, at yeah. home to keep. Yeah. Um, so it's, uh, it's it's a nice it's a nice little vehicle. Yeah. yeah it's a choice little car. I just yeah. love three cylinder engines. I think they sound absolutely fantastic. Oh, they do. Yeah, they do. And you can wring their neck and know you're not going to break any speed. That's it. Yeah, that's it. There's uh, a lefty if you're wanting to sort of go back round in a in a loop if you like. Yeah. Super. Yeah, they do sound, um, and with this as well, there's quite a lot of torque as well, which um, which does help when you, you know, when you when you're wanting to get up hills. Yeah, or, I mean, one point two is quite um, big for a three cylinder, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's right. Right, we, we we're going to pause for a cup of tea, and then there will be more. Right now we are refreshed with tea and healthy foods of the cheesy variety. Uh, let's have a look around the Justy. Um, See the four-wheel drive graphics on the side to proudly show off its abilities. And I think, to be honest, I think the best angle of these just is, is from the back. I always thought they look absolutely fantastic. I love the lights, the bumper, the large window. It's all good news. Yeah, nice try in your Jaguar, mate, but it's no three-cylinder. Let's take a look inside. So it's remarkably clean in here for 88,000 miles. Uh, apart from dirt we've got on the um, mats today. Let's jump aboard. So very typical Japanese heater controls. Um, the stereo is a more recent addition. I quite like the fact he's got USB, but it disappears into this blanking plug. Um, digital clock, of course, uh, which I shall wake up thusly. There we go. And um, yeah, not much in the way of toys. We've got um, manual windows, manual locking, everything is keep fit. But um, yeah, here's the dashboard itself. And if I turn the ignition on again and press this button on the gear lever. Oh, I need to have the engine running for that. Let's get the engine running then. And then press the button. Hey, there we go. You get the green light to show you that all four wheels are now engaged. So that's quite good. Electronically selectable four wheel drive. That was very unusual and very advanced for the time. Um, you wouldn't get that on a Land Rover. And of course, a frummy little three cylinder engine. Which sounds just as good as three cylinder engines normally do. Right, let's go and have a poke around under the bonnet. So there we go, there is the power plant. It's a three cylinder engine, um, three valves as well. So two in the one exhaust per cylinder and um, electronic fuel injection. And um, there's the gearbox down there, sending drive to the front wheels and also to the rear wheels when demanded by pressing a button. All in all, a very fun funky little car. So there we go, that is the Subaru Justy 
tested for hub nut. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. And I shall see you in a future video. Farewell.